Kevlar was invented by Polish chemist Stephanie Kwalik while she was employed by DuPont. In 1964, she and her team began conducting research for a new lightweight but strong fiber to be used in tires. The solution they had created was intended to be thrown away, but Kwalik asked the lab technician to test the solution. Upon testing, they found that the fiber, unlike nylon, did not break. In 1971, modern Kevlar was first tested. Kevlar is synthesized in a solution from the monomers paraphenylenadiamine and terephthalyl chloride in a condensation reaction which yields hydrochloric acid as a byproduct. The resulting polymer has a liquid crystalline behavior, meaning it has properties of both a liquid and a crystal. <coughs> Hexamethylphosphoramide was the solvent that was originally used in the polymerization process. However, due to safety concerns, DuPont replaced this solution with calcium chloride. Kevlar's chemical name is polyperaphenylene terephthalamine. Kevlar's strength comes from the hydrogen bonding between molecules. The bonds form between the carbonyl groups and the protons on the neighboring monomer. Due to Kevlar's high strength, it does not melt but begins to decompose at high temperatures. Kevlar is relatively rigid. Kevlar maintains its strength and resilience in temperatures as low as negative 196 degrees Celsius and is even slightly stronger at lower temperatures. However, when Kevlar is in a hot environment, it loses approximately 10 to 20% of its strength. This takes several hours though. For example, at temperatures of 160 degrees Celsius, Kevlar will lose 10% of its strength in 500 hours. Kevlar does not conduct electricity. This is what a monomer of Kevlar looks like. This is what the polymer looks like. Since Kevlar's chemical introduction in 1971, it has seen many different uses. One of Kevlar's main uses is in armor, such as ballistic vests, combat helmets, and face masks. It is used in these because it is lightweight and is resistant to chemicals, flames, and knives. Similarly, Kevlar is also used in motorcycle safety clothing, mainly in the more padded areas, like around the elbows and the shoulders. Another use for Kevlar is in sporting equipment. Kevlar is used in the hulls of racing canoes due to its rigidity and lightweight. Some bike tires have an inner layer of Kevlar to prevent punctures. Kevlar is also woven into the strings of badminton and tennis rackets to increase durability. Kevlar is also prominent in string instruments such as guitars and violins because of its durability. While these are just some of Kevlar's uses, there are many more including use in ropes, frying pans, brakes, and in the construction of buildings. One of Kevlar's biggest problems is its price. Large amounts of sulfuric acid must be used in order to keep the polymer in solution during the synthesis. When Kevlar is exposed to ultraviolet radiation, such as light from the sun, it loses strength very quickly. One way to avoid this is by treating the Kevlar with a UV resistant coating. Kevlar absorbs moisture, which means it is sensitive to the environment. Finally, Kevlar is difficult to cut. While this is what gives ballistic vests their resistance to knives, it means that cutting sheets of Kevlar to be used is difficult without the use of lasers or special scissors which can be expensive.